getting my account terminated not once, but twice. A KDP account termination is account terminations. You're getting your Amazon KDP account closed. What next? Getting your Kindle Direct Publishing account terminated is a serious problem. Because my KDP account got suspended. Surely you have already noticed Amazon is tightening its grip and is increasingly blocking KDP accounts. Many of you are therefore afraid to even start with Amazon KDP and do not really know what they need to pay attention to avoid a block of their account. It could be possible that you are afraid that your books will be deleted and your passive income stream will disappear. But don't worry, in this video, I will show you the top six reasons why Amazon might block your KDP account and how to avoid these mistakes. So make sure to watch this video until the end to avoid making any of these mistakes. This video is divided into two parts. In the first part, I show you the six most important reasons. In the second part, I will explain what to do if your account is banned and what you can do to get your account back. If you want to know everything about Amazon KDP, check out the videos on my channel and feel free to subscribe. Before I show you the first reason or the first mistake, a general information, what is the goal of Amazon? Amazon always wants to provide the best customer experience on its platform. Anything that negatively impacts that customer experience, Amazon doesn't like to see and requires action. Therefore, any negative experience a customer has on Amazon is a reason to suspend your KDP account. So we start now with the first reason or the first mistake. It is keyword stuffing in the title and subtitle. Keyword stuffing means that people are writing a ton of different keywords in their titles and subtitles. I have this example for you, a hiking logbook. And this person isn't focusing on one keyword, he is focusing on multiple keywords in title and subtitle. For example, trail journal, logbook for track hikes, notebook for journeys, and so on. In the beginning of Amazon KDP, this was normal to put different keywords in the title and subtitle so that the Amazon algorithm will rank your book higher and higher. But in the couple last years, this trend has changed. Now, keywords are no longer play a major role in the title or subtitle, and it is much more about creating titles that sell well. So this means Amazon is watching for titles that are selling really well. And if you compare yourself to the customer, when you see this title, you don't know what the book is all about. Is it specially created for you or is it a general hiking logbook? So keyword stuffing in the title affects the customer experience negatively and is not gladly seen by Amazon. So avoid keyword stuffing in the title and subtitle and focus on a title that sounds good and sell well. The second reason Amazon might ban your account is if you add incorrect categories to your book listing. As you probably already know, it is possible to list your book in up to 10 categories via Amazon KDP support. If you don't know how to add your book in up to 10 categories, have a look at the video on the right hand corner. As you can see on my screen, I have an example for irrelevant categories in a book listing for you guys. I am in the category books, cookbooks, Asian cooking, and I found this book on rank number nine, an air fryer cookbook. The reason why self-publishers list their book in irrelevant category is easily explained. Every publisher would like to have the number one bestseller button for their book because this button can highly increase your sales on Amazon. 
you get this button when your book is ranked number one in a category. Here, you look at the BSRs of the current number one in a category and check if you can beat this BSR. Publishers look for categories in which the first book has a bad or high BSR and add their book in this category. But now take the role of the customer. You search for Asian cooking and you find this book. You wonder what such a book is doing in this category. This has a negative impact on your custom experience, which the Amazon algorithm notice immediately. This negative custom experience can lead to Amazon suspending your KDP account because you are misleading the customer. Always make sure if you are adding categories via Amazon KDP support to add only very relevant categories to your book listing. The third reason Amazon has your KDP account banned is because you are using the same interiors for different books. Of course, you all know sites like Creative Fabrica, Canva or Bookbolt Studio. These sites are definitely worth the money. By the way, should you be interested in these sites, feel free to check out the links in the video description. So these platforms offers us customers the opportunity to choose from a variety of pre-made designs. Always keep in mind, you are not the only person who is downloading these designs. There are thousands of customers per month who want to use the same design for their book interiors. Here again, the custom experience plays an important role. Imagine that the customer is looking for a coloring book with animals for children on Amazon. Now he finds a book from you with the title Zoo Animals Coloring Book. For the interiors, you have bought templates from, for example, Creative Fabrica or Bookbolt Studio. However, the customer buys not only this book, but also another book with the title, for example, Wild Animals Coloring Book. The customer now receives both books and has to realize that the contents are completely identical. So you used the coloring pages not only for your zoo animal coloring book, but also for your wild animal coloring book. Now the customer receives both books, sees the interiors completely identical, and he will return the goods and complain to Amazon. And Amazon does not want this negative custom experience and as a consequence may have your KDP account suspended. Of course, you can still use this content from, for example, Creative Fabrica or Bookbolt, but to be on the safe side, always change the content of each book so that each book has a unique interior. The next reason why Amazon might block your KDP account is that you are violating trademark laws. I see these mistakes on Amazon again and again and have brought an example for you. I searched on Amazon.com for Pokemon coloring book and found this book here. How to draw step by step, learn to draw step by step your favorite Pokemon characters by Dolly Word. And I had a closer look on this book and I'm sure that this person has no rights for the term Pokemon. Book is published on November 8, 2022, so very new to the market. And I'm sure that Amazon will delete this book from their marketplace within two weeks. Because you are not allowed to use trademarked terms for your book. Neither in the title, subtitle, nor as author name or in the seven keyword boxes. So don't create books with trademarked terms because Amazon will not only delete the book from their marketplace, Amazon will also might be ban your KDP account. Before you want to use the term, always do a little research to see if the term is trademarked or not. You can use, for example, this website USPTO.gov. It's the official United States Patent and Trademark Office. And I will link this website in the video description. 
you can click here on search your trademark database then this window opens and you can click basic wordmark search then you are typing in your search term and click on submit query as you can see now we have a lot of results for harry potter because of course it's a trademarked term and you cannot use it in your title or your amazon books or in the author name or whatsoever you also have to make sure that you don't use graphics that are trademarked because this is also a point why amazon kdp will ban you the next reason is very obvious it is a buying positive reviews for your book there are a lot of sites out there where you can buy positive five star reviews for your books on amazon but if you have a book created for example one month ago and published one month ago and your book has immediately 100 200 or 300 reviews within one month the amazon algorithm checks this immediately and will have a closer look on your book of course you can generate reviews by giving out free examples of your book but always make sure not to ask for a positive review ask for an honest review on your book and don't use suspicious platforms or websites in the internet to buy five star reviews because this is very very dangerous and can cost you your amazon kdp account the sixth and last reason why amazon might be ban your account is plagiarism if you are creating high content non-fiction books and you are buying for example a text from a ghostwriter you have to always make sure that the text is not plagiarized and free to use because if a competitor claims your book your product amazon will remove the book from their platform and plagiarism can cost you your kdp account you always have to make sure that not only your text is not plagiarized you have to make sure that images in your book are also not plagiarized you can use for example for images the website tinai.com if you want to check your text you can for example do a little google research for plagiarism checker and then there are plenty of websites where you can check your text and i would highly recommend to check your text before publishing your book on amazon because you don't want to make a good amount of money with your book and then get your account banned from amazon so always do this little check before publishing a book so now i showed you the six most important reasons why amazon might ban your account make sure to avoid these mistakes and then i can guarantee you that there is a 99 percent chance that you are not risking your account and stay safe for your whole amazon kdp business if your kdp account has already banned or suspended from amazon what can you do to get your account back in the first way you will always receive an email from the amazon support with the issue of your book have a closer look on the issues in this email and correct the book in your bookshelf after you made the changes contact the amazon kdp support and tell them that you changed your book and that they can review it again if this is not enough ask politely kdp support what you can do that your amazon kdp account will open again and then in the most cases the support gives you an answer what you have to do to get your account back so don't be afraid in creating books publishing books on amazon and create this passive income stream for yourself because it is a very great way to earn passive income increase your whole amount of money for example i made last month over 873 dollars and six cents only one month with amazon kdp and don't be afraid in publishing books and don't be afraid that your amazon kdp account gets suspended if you like the video put a thumbs up check out the links in the video description for example for the websites of creative fabrica or bookbolt and 
If you like the content on my channel, feel free to subscribe. I wish you a very good day and we will see you in the next video.